On the eve of this great adventure, I send my best wishes to every soldier in the Allied team. Now the ship's are sealed and we wait. The troops swarmed up the rope ladders last night. It starts on an airfield, this story. It starts on an airfield where the paratroops kneel round their padre in prayer before implaining. It's 20 minutes to 8 in the evening, a matter now of only a few hours to H hour. This is Chester Wilmot broadcasting from a glider, bound for France and invasion. This is the day and this is the hour. The sky is lightning, lightning over the coast of Europe as we go in. Just five minutes before H hour, H minus five. And now there's a signal from the flagship. All hands to beaching station. That's the signal for our sailors on board this craft to get ready for the landing. We're over the enemy coast now, and the run-in has started. One minute, 30 seconds, red light, green light, and out, out. Get on, get out, get out. It's just about nine o'clock, and a whole mass of gliders has just come in, having been towed across the channel from Britain. I'm lying down at full length here in the cornfield. Just in the hedges around me, I can see many men taking shelter behind the banks with it, wearing their steel helmets. We have yet to see a German plane over the amphibious convoy, which doesn't necessarily mean that we shan't see them before the attack is over. Our air support has been fine, and the loudspeakers call out almost constantly Spitfires on the port, or Mustangs overhead, or B-17s passing on the starboard side. <laughs> 